effort from the crowd, another whiteout. You may remember they had the whiteout two years ago in Happy Valley when Ohio State escaped in double overtime thanks to that man, JT Barrett. Picked this one up in the second quarter. Ohio State on top, 3-0. Barrett finds his big, strong tight end, Marcus Ball, who's breaking tackles and finding the end zone from 26 yards out. Ohio State would miss the point after the win. Bit of an issue on Saturday in State College. Buckeyes on top, 9-0. Same score, about two minutes to play in the half. Barrett finds a way to escape. Unbelievable. This is what JT Barrett does better than anyone else in the country. Would lead to an Ohio State field goal, 12-0 Buckeyes. But as Stan pointed out right before we went on air, huge touchdown here right before the half. Big wide receiver, throw the ball up behind, let him go make a play on it. See great hands right there, phenomenal catch to get him on the board. McSorley to Godwin in that Buckeye lead, trims to 12-7 at the break. Third quarter, Curtis Samuel waited and waited and waited. This his first carry of the game. Coach, why'd you wait so long? Mm -hmm. Curtis Samuel goes 74 yards. Ohio State up 19-7. They would add a safety. It, it looks like it's basically over. Here is the safety on fourth and 11. The snap over Blake Gillikin's head. Does a great job to fall back on it, but add two more for Ohio State. Buckeyes up by 14 and all the momentum. But hold on a second. In the fourth, only Penn State has Saquon Barkley. Finds the hole and finds 37 yards. Penn State on the move. This is early in the fourth. Next play, McSorley, back shoulder fade to Saeed Blacknall. And how about this catch, Dan? Another oh great my catch. goodness. How about the location of that throw? Oh, Unbelievable concentration. Setting up first and goal two plays later. McSorley takes it himself. He's going to look for the pylon around the right end. Trace McSorley has escapability. And Penn State has a touchdown, down just seven. Under five minutes now in the game. It's a 21-17 Buckeye lead. Tyler Durbin on for the field goal. Howard, they were trying to decide, do you call timeout? They were in a rush. Yeah, and didn't get it done. They still have to be able to block it up. You can't allow this to happen. Special teams is all about paying attention to detail, and they didn't get to execute it there. Marcus Allen, the block, great. Haley, the recovery, and 60 yards. So Ohio State has one last chance. But on third and 10, Barrett taken down by Jason Cabinda, just back from injury. And on fourth and 23, last gasp for the number two team in the country, and Barrett has no chance. Swarmed under by Evan Schwan and Kevin Givens, and there it is. The upset, the biggest in the Big Ten by far this year. Penn State 24, number two Ohio State 21. If you strictly look at the numbers, Penn State had 276 total yards, only 22 minutes in time of possession, but two huge plays on special teams, handing James Franklin his first win against a ranked opponent as the head coach of Penn State and Ohio State falls just short of a 22nd consecutive road win under Urban Meyer.